Hey family, it's Ray and I'm back with another word. I pray that you guys have been blessed and that this word finds you in good spirits. And so as always, test the spirit behind this word. Take it back to the Lord and have the Lord speak to you further, confirming if it is for you to give you specific details, insight, and instruction concerning your individual situation. And so the title of this word is someone got involved where they shouldn't have and is forthcoming with information. I had this dream on April 11th of this year and I woke up around 2.45. So in this dream, I saw three girls sitting on a bench. They looked like they were in the waiting area of a restaurant and it was the ringleader i'm going to call her the ringleader she was she looked older in age and also bigger in size and the other two were they looked a little younger than her and were smaller and so i'm going to call her the, the the leader okay and so as the leader looked up saw another female across the way and she was talking to these two other girls who were with her about the girl i couldn't necessarily hear exactly what she was saying but by the look on her face she it was evident that she did not like the girl that she had some sort of a problem with this with the girl the girl was speaking to like the hostess or somebody so she she wasn't aware that these three girls were watching her or talking about her she was just minding her business the ringleader grabbed a weapon and aimed it at the girl and she was pulling the trigger although it wasn't firing so then she she put it down and then the girl the follower who was sitting next to her she picked it up and she did the same thing except this time it actually fired hitting the girl the unsuspecting girl who was just minding her business suddenly was just attacked okay and so the leader was sitting there with a smirk on her face as people rushed over to the girl tending to her and i also saw that the authorities were there they were present as well and so the ringleader was sitting with a smug look as the girl who released the attack she she seemed surprised and really in shock it was like she wasn't really wanting to or trying to harm or expire that girl she just basically brushed it off though the leader she brushed it off and was nonchalant and she was saying it wasn't her problem and was telling the girl go turn herself in and then she got up and left throughout the remainder of the dream i could see the girl she was really kind of talking to herself and she was full of like worry and she, she was trying to figure out a way to have the ringleader be held accountable so that everything doesn't just fall on her so i was reminded or taken to matthew 27 which talks about after judas betrayed jesus so in 26 that's when judas betrayed jesus but in 27 is really where um the lord led me to and so it says i'm going to start at verse one and go through five and it's the amplified version when it was morning all the chief priests and the elders of the people the sanhedrin jewish high court conferred together against jesus plotting how to put him to death since under roman rule they had no power to execute anyone so they bound him and led him away and handed him over to Pilate, the governor of Judea, who had the authority to condemn prisoners to death. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he was grabbed with remorse and returned the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. They replied, What is that to us? See to that yourself. And throwing the pieces of silver into the temple sanctuary, he left and went away and hanged himself. And so um, after I read that, I went back to 26 and 26 is when Judas went seeking a reward, um, seeking what he could get out of handing Jesus over to them. And so after he made the plans with them, he then kept watch looking for the opportune time to betray Jesus. As far as his dream, it's like someone is looking for the opportunity to prove themselves or they're maybe looking for acceptance, something of that nature, but they're involved somewhere with, with a person or with a group of people that are not good for them, to say the least. They're not good for them. This connection isn't good for them. The the influence that these people have is not good for them. So in this dream, she was so willing to fire that weapon, and then right after, she was seized with panic and fear. And in the dream, the ringleader was nonchalant and careless about this girl's consequence she sat with a smirk because she got what she wanted out of the situation but didn't care about this person's consequence this is the same as what happened with judas they didn't care about his remorse they didn't even care about the money they were glad that their plan was fulfilled to get jesus arrested that's all they were worried about and this doesn't have to be a physical attack like how it happened in the dream it could be words it could be false accusations spreading rumors anything that's done with malice with the intent to hurt harm betray or shame or destroy someone another person so the thing is that in the dream something is coming out publicly concerning the situation or it could just be news in general coming out revelation information being released or being revealed and so as a girl like i mentioned she was panicking at the end of the dream after the attack she was panicking she was pacing back and forth i saw that she was in a bathroom there was a lady who had a microphone and then there was a man falling behind her with one of those huge rectangular cameras that you have to like 
put on your shoulder that you have the balance on your shoulder they were walking to her in the bathroom and as well i saw a huge crowd of people standing outside of the bathroom outside of the entrance of the bathroom as the lady with the microphone entered into the bathroom trying to speak to the girl and she kind of waved her off because she was still trying to figure out how she was going to get that leader the ring leader implicated in the situation she she did not want to take the fall she did not want to take the blame for what happened when she knows that someone else was involved or better yet in this instance she basically was set up to do someone else's dirty work so two things that the lord pointed out to me concerning the beginning of the dream where i mentioned the lady the leader picking up the weapon the one thing was that she picked up the weapon and she was pulling the trigger but nothing was firing so for some people that implies that the leader the mastermind told someone what to do they demonstrated what to do they gave them information pretty much planning out what to do and then sending other people to do the work sending other people to do the dirty work okay this could even look even look like the lies being told the the seeds being planted in other people's minds in other people's hearts knowing that they're going to take that information and they pretty much had a, had a knowing or, or an, a feel of what the people they had an intention really of what people were going to do with the information obviously if you're lying you, you you know what you want out of the lie you're trying to get something out of the lie and so when they're sowing these seeds when they're sowing these lies they're sowing them with the intention that the people who they're speaking to that the people that they're influencing are going to run with that information that's the one thing in some instances the leader literally demonstrated what they wanted the people to go and do they told them what to go and do they told them what to go and say they literally planned it with people they planned it out with other people and in other instances the fact that the lady was firing but nothing was releasing some type of way the people were influenced that it was nothing wrong with what they were doing or what they were being told or influenced to do what they were being sought after to get involved in there's some type of way that these people were influenced to believe that it was okay that there was nothing wrong that there that there was no harm going to be done because the lady was holding the weapon but nothing was coming out nothing was firing in other words it was made to look harmless it was made to look innocent it was made to look like nothing wrong was being done it was made to look like essentially they would get away with it it was made to look like it was safe it was safe look at me i'm doing it and nothing's happening so other people thought okay let, let me do it too so those are the two things that the lord highlights to me about that and so a lot of times we see bad guy get caught and you know that that is justice of course but in this dream or this message what the lord really is highlighting is that as a follower as somebody even if you weren't the ringleader it, when you let your allow yourself to get involved in something where you should not be involved in doing things that you should not be doing you will still be held accountable the blood is still on your hands you are still held accountable for what you do you are still held accountable for the choices that you make even if you weren't the one who set out to do it even if you weren't the one who set and planned everything out you are still held accountable for what you do that's what he's highlighting in his dream because in this dream it wasn't the ring leader it wasn't the leader who all the blame fell on it was the follower who all the blame fell on the Lord is speaking to people whether this is something that you've already done or if you find yourself in a situation where people are trying to get you involved in something it just as a reminder be aware that everything that you do every choice that you that you make you were still held accountable for so watch people's fruits watch people's character the things that they're they're showing you just like in this instance the leader she showed her fruits when she put out the weapon so watch people's fruits watch people care people's character and be mindful of who you're getting yourself involved with who you're coming into connection with who you're coming into covenant with and the things that you're coming into a covenant and agreement with because you will be held accountable for for what it is that you are doing regardless of if you were lied to regardless of if you knew the whole time what what was going on the truth about everything was going on you will still be held accountable for your actions that leads me to first corinthians 15 33 through 34 do not be deceived evil company corrupts good habits awake to righteousness and do not sin for some do not have the knowledge of god 
And so Matthew 26 through 27 and 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33 through 34, both will be in the description box below. But who is for who this message was for, I pray that you receive this with an open heart, ears and a mind to understand what the Lord is speaking to you. Of course, test the spirit behind this word and take it back to the Lord. Allow the Lord to minister and speak to you further, even confirming if this word is for you. So again, revelation, truth, information is coming out um, about these attacks for some for someone or for some people as well if you feel that you know anyone who needed to hear this word please feel free to share this word with them don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of any future uploads when i post and i'll be back soon with another word bye